Hi art friends, Miss B again. So, now that we know a little more about what sketchbooks are and why artists keep them, we're going to create the covers for our own sketchbooks. There are two things I need you to include on the cover of your sketchbook. Your first name in large letters and your first and last name in the bottom corner along with your teacher's name. So, if your name is Cruz Callahan and you are in Miss Smith's third grade class, this is what your sketchbook might look like. You're gonna fill the whole page. I made a short video so you can see a few options of how you can design the cover. One thing I like to do first is to write my name really big, very lightly, so I can erase those pencil lines later. If you press too hard, you are not gonna be able to erase them. Then I'll draw bubbles around it, again, lightly, Outline it with Sharpie and erase all those light pencil sketches. Then you can decide what else you want on the cover. Simple lines, shapes, and patterns work great. If you have something you really like to draw, maybe an old art project, or maybe if you're at home and you wanna draw along with the drawing video, you can totally add that to the cover. I like to stick with simple things. Draw with pencil first, outline, then erase the pencil marks. Remember to keep your design interesting. Show overlapping, you can layer colors, you can use whatever materials you like for this, but I suggest using crayons, markers, or colored pencils, or a mix of all three of them. I wouldn't use oil pastels or chalk just because they can smear and they're messy, and we definitely aren't gonna use paint here yet in the art room, but if you're at home and you have a place to let it dry, go for it. Uh, if you wanted to do maybe what the artist said in the video that we watched about sketchbooks, you could take magazines, and cut up photos or letters or words maybe that describe you and glue them on the front cover. Just make sure you give it time to dry. Now, one last thing before I let y'all go completely, there are some rules that go along with having a sketchbook. Rule number one, never rip out the pages in your sketchbook. I know we all make mistakes, but if you make a huge mistake that just can't be fixed by erasing it or turning it into a masterpiece, Turn the page and start a new one. Mistakes are just a part of learning how to be a better artist. Sometimes I'll come back to the first page that I made a mistake with and turn it into something else. Rule number two, use one page at a time. No scribbling on every page. You will only get one sketchbook from me. These have to last a long time and I have ideas planned for each page. These are not for art free time drawing. You can always keep your drawings in the sketchbook like a folder though. Rule number three, be responsible with your sketchbook. In the art room, we'll keep our sketchbooks in a safe place, but for all of you virtual learners out there, please make sure to keep your sketchbook with your art supplies so you always know where it is. Now, when you're all finished drawing your name in big letters and you have your first and last name, down in the bottom corner, along with your teacher's name and your grade. Everything's outlined and everything's colored. You're gonna take a photo of your sketchbook cover and upload it to Artsonia for your first art grade. So stay tuned for the next video so you can see how to upload to Artsonia.